What's going on guys, John here from The Real Talk, back again with the review for Lady Bird. And uh, man, I saw this film last week, and first things first, uh, A24 has been killing it. Um, it they, they're one of my favorite studios, and they just put out good quality movies. And that's why I love movies, because, um, how can I put this? Those movies are, like, the quality of movies that they put out is the reason why I love movies. Those character-driven movies and stuff like that. And this is no different. I, I loved Lady Bird. I, I, I tweeted right after I saw it. Believe everything you you hear about it. All the reviews and stuff like that. And right now it's sitting at 100% at Rotten Tomatoes. And I think it's Rotten Tomatoes' best reviewed film of all time now. Um, but with that being said, guys, I, I loved it. it. This movie was so amazing. Um... It's just, I tweeted too that these characters are some of the best characters ever put on film this year. You know, like, you really could connect to them. And also, they're just so well developed in just the story and just the art some of these uh, characters go through. And man, Greta Gerwig, I believe, is the director. First time director, I think. Uh, I believe so. She's she's an actress as well. She's she's been in some stuff. I don't know if she's been she was actually in this one, but first time director guys and man, she just killed it. Her and um, Jordan Peele, man, first time directors. I believe there's some other ones too. Um, first time directors. Uh, but anyways, guys, going back to the film, just I don't know. I, this film has to be nominated for something. Uh, like I said in. Um, uh, the, my review for Three Billboards. Um, it's just it's just a phenomenal movie. Uh, the screenplay is, is amazing and directing was again like I said wonderful. These characters well realized, and man Lucas Hedges as well. He man ever since I think I first seen him. I don't know if Manchester by the Sea was the first time I seen him in. Um, but he was also in Three Billboards uh, outside of Ebbing, Missouri too. He's just having a great career. That guy. Um, he was phenomenal. This movie just. Something that they decided to do with the character, I kind of got the hint, and it's kind of stupid why I got it, like, of where the character was going. I was like, well, why don't you want to do that, man? It's, you know, come on, you know? But obviously it's revealed, something's revealed, I don't want to get into spoilers. And man, just this scene where that he shares with uh, Saoirse Ronan, I don't know how to pronounce her name, I think that's it, she's from, she's Irish. <laughs> um, there's this one scene specific, man, it just got me, I was like, man, this, this sucks, you know? <laughs> um... But speaking about Sersha, um, I, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. She she has to be nominated for Best Actress or, or uh, yeah, I think it's not, she's not a side character. So. Um, and she's just, I don't know, just everything about the movie, just it, this world felt real. The, the world that these characters were living in. And um, it, it's one of my favorite, favorites of the year. And I want to see it again so bad because it's just at a hell of a time. This, this movie about, uh, I believe it's like a coming of age film as well. You know, you can definitely feel that and just... Just the story and the relationship between um, her, Saoirse Ronan and her, her mother. I'm forgetting the actress's name right now, but it was, it was awesome. It was, it was so, it was so, uh, I felt like it was genuine, you know, and, and it was very real. But I love this movie, guys. I highly recommend it. And again, if I had to give it a score, um, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Um, it, it's just a phenomenal movie. It's going to be in my top 10 for sure. Uh, and it's sad to say that because I had my top 10 um, uh, list so far and I did a video with that and I'm, I'm going to be it's going to be heartbreaking to put some of the films up but this movie definitely deserves a, a spot in my top 10 so uh, but if you guys have seen it let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts if you guys agree with me uh, some other positives or negatives if you guys had with the film uh, and if you guys want to follow me outside of YouTube you guys can uh, at the real talk talk with two K's on Instagram and Twitter and as always. I'll see you at the movies, guys. Later.